Brothers and sisters, let's join our prayers together and offer to the Father through the Holy Eucharist that we celebrate today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memory of St. Francis of Paula. So in this Mass, we offer pray for the repose of the soul of Ruben, Alicia, and David Barrera, Doris Chibuco, Jovina Quinto, Sabino Sambayan, and Mariano Morales. Now let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have prayed this in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most innocent fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. O oh God, exhortations of the lowly, who raise St. Francis of Paula to the glory of your saints, grant, we pray, that by his merit and example, we may happily attend the rewards promised to the humble. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lectura del libro del Génesis Cuando Dios se le apareció a Abraham, se postró con él rostro en suelo y dijo y Dios le dijo, aquí estoy, esta es la alianza que hago contigo, serás padre de una multitud de pueblos, ya no te llamarás Abraham, sino Abraham porque te he constituido como padre de muchas naciones. Te haré fecundo sobremanera, de ti surgirán naciones y de ti nacerán reyes. Contigo y con tus descendientes, de generación en generación, establezco una alianza perpetua 
para ser el Dios tuyo y de tus descendientes. A ti y a tus descendientes les daré en posesión perpetua toda la tierra de Canaán, en la que ahora vives como extranjero, y yo seré el Dios de ustedes. Después le dijo Dios a Abraham, Cumple, pues, mi alianza, tú y tu prosperidad y tu posternidad de generación en generación. Palabra de Dios. judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen one. the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenants forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my world will never see death. So the Jews said to him, How are we sure that you are possessed? Abraham died, as did the prophets, yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me, of whom I, you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. 
And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You're not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. So, I'm reminding you of the, um, the first reading of yesterday, the book of the prophet Daniel. So we know that uh, the king ordered the three young men that to worship the gods that the king worship. That's gods that the king believed in is not the God that these three young men believe in, the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. But yet, these three young men know very well that the God that they worship is really the existing God, God that exists. So they didn't afraid of their life. Even the king command that if you don't worship the God that I believe in, your life will be end. So even with that, they still worship the God that they believe in. So therefore the king ordered that to raise the heat of the fire furnace seven times higher than usual. And what did happen to them? So after that, we see that the king saw that not only three, but four people in that fire furnace. So the one extra is that the angel. The angel come, haste come in the help. So angel helped them during that time of trial. Yet, and today, we see that in the first reading, mentioned Abraham. God made covenant with Abraham. And yet, he promised that he is the father of the nations. He is the father of faith. So, God promised salvation to all the descendants of Abraham. So, therefore, you see that in the gospel, the truth kind of believe that Abraham was the greatest because God made co covenant with Abraham. But here we see that Jesus in the beginning exists with the Father. So therefore, Jesus exists from the beginning before Abraham. But when Jesus talk about living and death here, for the people, they thought that just the life in this world now, here, Immediately, but Jesus mentions the eternal life, the life that he come to give us all. So therefore, in the midst of this crisis of the coronavirus that we all have to struggle and dealing with, it ran out our energy. It ran out our love for each other, so now we have to get up separate, to, we practice shelter in place. Different from the usual activity that we are dealing with. And sometimes during this time that we take it into meditation. What is life about? Do we put, do, do we put our trust in God? The one that created the world? Or do we put our trust in ourselves? Or do we put our trust in someone else? 
Or do we put our trust in money or power? So those things that we put our trust in, which is not God, is very fragile. Little things come in, it can change. Little things come in, it can destroy whatever that we put our trust in. So therefore, only God that promised eternal life. So I would love to borrow the quote from St. Hilary of uh, Poitier. He wrote, Grant us, therefore, the exact meaning of words, the light of the intelligence, the nobilities of language, the orthodoxy of faith. What we believe, allow us to affirm to it. That is to say, since we, through the prophets and the apostles, we know that there is one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are one equal, and can give us eternal life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we are for you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. You become our spiritual drink. Blessed be, Blessed God. be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create the blessed St. Francis of Paula, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renew like him we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of reconciliation to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our fault, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards to Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adored, and powers tremble before you, 
heaven and the virtue of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. Male voices we pray, joy with theirs in humble prayer as we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered with his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Marin Kara, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Reuben, Alicia, and David Barrera, Doris, Chubuco, Jovina Quinto, Sab Sabino Samapanyan, Marian Mariano Morales. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him, and with him, and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from the trust, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, O Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love to the example of blessed St. Francis Paula and bring the fulfillment of good works you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bow down for blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with the lights of your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. San Michael, the archangel, the archangel defend us in battle. We are defense against the wickedness and snare of the devil. devil. May God, God reveal him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust the truth of Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with and your, spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There's one announcement that I would like to make. We are sorry, but due to the new restrictions imposed because of the coronavirus, we will not be able to distribute palms this weekend. Sorry about that. In español, no vamos a poder dar las palmas. El obispo nos dice que no podemos. Entonces, perdón, pero no vamos a tener palmas domingo. Perdir las palmas, so, por favor, queden sus casas, gracias. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. No matter God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a blessed day to all of you.